never tolerate this flagrant disregard of the Jamaican law, especially when it has the potential for such danger like the lives of people are threatened. You hear stories of things being dumped into the river. You hear stories of people building on the dump land. That means we are blocking the river, the natural waterway. Nobody has to explain the danger that accompany that. And that is a responsibility that no Jamaican can take lightly, let alone the NSWMA, who is bound by law to regulate um, in, in circumstances such as this. So we, so have we have that dumps all yeah. over Jamaica that we regulate. But as he said, that so dumping is a business that we are in. Dumping itself is not what is wrong, you know, is where you dump, how you dump, and who you utilize. The, 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 um, the available facilities, the no, legal facilities to do your dumping, but we will always That's have to dump. We are a consuming public, so we'll always have things to throw away. But what about the number of other illegal dumps that are scattered across here? When we find them, we deal with them. We, I'm telling you that there are things that will escape us. We will not be so alert that we see everything. But once we come across it, we have a duty to deal with it. I am not so sure how or who dropped the ball. What I do know is that right now, we are on top of it now because we are here. So we could always go back in history and we can always look at who should have, who could have, who didn't. But I don't, I'm not so sure how much um, benefit we'll get from that. What I want to talk about is what we do now that we have seen it.